Alright, hey everybody, I I just thought I'd quickly do a tutorial on how I letter in Manga Studio. I really like it because it's much easier than Adobe Illustrator, even though the the results might not be as nice or you might not be able to do as much, like making sound effects and stuff. I still have to figure that out. But I really like the dialogue balloons I've been getting in Manga Studio and I'll just go through my process for creating dialogue balloons and dialogue text. Um, this here is a font from Blandbot, blandbot.com, which has free and paid fonts that you can use. Um, just make sure you check up their licensing for commercial use because they're supposed to be comic only fonts unless you pay a license fee. So, I'll, work, I'll redo this balloon here. So, I'll go into panel 1. There's my text folder. I'll just hide that and make a new thing of text. So, what was it? I just type it in a straight line like that. Now, the next step is to make this appear more round. Like, as if it were, the text itself were a circle shape. Uh, it doesn't matter if you only have one word on the top and bottom lines, just as long as it looks like a circle, so this will require a bit of tweaking. Yeah, it requires a lot of trial and error. Um, See, I'm trying lots of different combinations here. Uh, uh, I think that's probably as circular as I can get it. So, I press OK over here in the properties. But, if I wanted to change the style, what I have here is my little custom monster style here. I press settings over here and the font is set to mouth breather BB. Now styles are really useful because you can easily just change your text. I've got standard here, I've got lettering, bland bot lettering, robot lettering, which is all instantly changing the font to whichever font I like. Um, if I just change it to lettering here, it'll change the font there. Um, you can make a new style by clicking new down here, uh, naming the style and choosing a source style. Um, just go random and I change all of these to the font I want. And the rest of this, well, it pretty much explains itself. Ruby is, if you're looking for translations, it's EX only and I really don't get it. You don't have to bother with it. Um, now this is really important. My standard font size I've actually set myself a standard size of 7 point because it's not too big and it allows enough room for your illustration. It doesn't cover so much of your illustration and it looks like 
the standard digital font size for comic book lettering. It's safe to just go with anywhere from 6.5 to 7 point when you're lettering digitally. I tried 12 point before and it was just way too big. I just wondered why my text was so big. But yeah, I'll change it back to monster because it's supposed to be monster for this situation. Um, now I click on this dialogue balloon settings tab. Um, and because I want a nice space around the words, I have my favorite dialogue balloon materials. These are all included with Manga Studio EX. Um, I'm looking for ellipse. Ah, here we go. Either ellipse A, ellipse B. I might go with ellipse B. Now you can modify this freely and move the text around inside it. What I'm doing is I'm trying to make sure that there is at least a one letter space between the text and the words on all edges. So that's about right. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. I can move it to where I want. And now I press these little buttons. I can add a curved tail or a straight tail. If I, I usually go with the curved. And I pretend my tail is radiating out from the middle of the dialogue balloon. So I drag it out from there and let go and just move the cursor around and it will let you define the curve for the tail. And I just click again and the tail is created. And if I drag this middle dot, either of these little handle things, I can modify my tail. And as just a rule of thumb, I always make sure that the tail is pointing towards the character that's talking, their mouth or at least their head. And it's good to just go for a rule of thumb where the tail should extend anywhere from a third of the distance to a half of the distance between the dialogue balloon and the character's mouth. So let's see, that's oh that's somewhere between a third and a half. I just, no it's about a third, just measuring with my fingers here. And that's how you create a basic dialogue balloon. And somehow it just disappeared. Oh, it went in my text folder. I'll teach you all about text folders too. Um, what we do with text folders, I go to panel 2, because I'm using it, actually using the text folder there. I've made two dialogue balloons and the text folder it contains both of them. So I have both my text layers in here and both of my dialogue balloons. The second one does not have a tail. Only the first one has a tail so you know these two balloons are joined together and they're both being said by the same character. So. I just put them both in a text folder and you collapse the text folder and the two balloons look like they're joined. And to make a text folder, you just go to a new layer and choose text folder. And there's a text folder. That's just as simple as that. And by the way, I'm loving panel folders. Panel folders are a lifesaver. I just wanted to add that in. So that's how I letter in Manga Studio. I don't know how to do sound effects yet, but I'll eventually get around to that. I hope you enjoyed this, and I'll see you later.